guys describe overall today's win? Uh, high energy, you know, emotion and energy, and um, it was just a great event. You know, and there was emotion from the kids. There was emotion from the teams that are trying to establish themselves. And then there was emotion between the coaching staffs. Um, but all positive, you know, all positive and, and um, heartfelt. And, uh, you know, makes you love what you do. It, it was a fun day today. Kelsey, was there any, uh, given that the game was at 11 a.m. and earlier start than usual, was, that any, was there any change on your bodies in terms of that? Um, I don't really think so. Usually we have early morning practices. So I, I don't think our body is really affected on it. So after that second quarter, when there was a little bit of uh, game time sloppiness, what did you say to your team at half, and how do you think they responded? Well, um, to be quite honest, I, w I, was in, there was, I was in a stubborn contest with the team, and eventually I'm going to win that every time. Okay? Uh, I like stubborn players. I do. I like players that have a spine. I like that someone asks why. You know, why. Like, I don't mind that. But um, not listening – and on their own agenda, and they were off the reservation. Um, and then I talked to the bench and told the bench what to do and put in my subs, and they did the same thing that the people they replaced were doing. So uh, we had enough of a lead where I could, I could let them know we're not calling this time out in an ACC game. That's not going to happen. You have got to work your way through this and uh, adjust. And at halftime, I mean, there was no question. You, you, that third quarter, I thought India Banks made all the adjustments. It just went and rebounded. I mean, that was go and rebound, take a better shot, work the ball inside, you know, off of a couple reversals, not immediately. And those adjustments were simple. It wouldn't have taken a John Wooden to figure that one out. But um, the fact that they do it and did it um, is positive. And I've seen that. And I've seen it from our young kids. Our young kids are really, when you send them in with a purpose, um, they've, been, they've been doing the purpose for us. And Kelsey, how would you describe uh, the effort from the freshman class today? Obviously, they're here and they they provide a lot of depth. How would you describe the role that they played today? Um, they're a major role for us coming off the bench. Uh, they come with the same amount of energy that the starters come with, and I think they execute everything really well that coach wants them to do. Did the kids provide any spark early and often in the game? Oh, of course, their energy, all the loudness every time you score. Yeah, they provide a lot of energy. What was it like to coach against uh, Derek Gibbs, who was on staff for uh, yeah. 10 years? What was it like? I think this is the first time you played him. It really was. Um, I was around the same time last year that I also played against Carolyn Keeger, right, in the NIT with Marquette. And um, those two, you know, they started it with, with me here and um, have so much to do with, you know, this program and how it's been built. But this morning it was funny. Um, I have about 25 coffee cups. I just have random coffee mugs from traveling and things. And I just grabbed one at 5.30 in the morning and grabbed a coffee cup. And I looked at it, and it said, we love you, Auntie. And it was uh, from Gibbs's kids with pictures of them all over my coffee cup. And I thought, oh, my God. Like, I haven't pulled that coffee cup out in, um, you know, five months. And there it was just in my hand. And I started to cry a little bit because I, I just love them and his family so much. And I knew it was an emotional day. Uh, he's doing a great job. Um, during the game, I, I could have cared less, right? I was coaching my team, but prior to the game and after the game, uh, he's got my heart. He, he's family. And then finally, what can both of you guys take away from this game in terms of improvements? Obviously, when you win by 20, you don't think improvements. You think, oh, we just won by 20. But how do you take uh, – Oh, really? No, there's a lot. To <laughs> I was like, obviously not. Yeah. Oh, we're going to learn. How do, you take, how, do you, how do you move on from a 20? Like, what do you guys take away from this one? Uh, well, when the game got close in the second quarter, we just got to learn to listen to our coaches. Uh, we start listening to them early, but when we feel like we have a lead, we get off track and try to do our own things. So I guess that's what we really need to work on. And, you know, we're a physically imposing team, the physicality. And, you know, some would argue that, um, you know, the way to neutralize our physicality is to invite us to take threes and bad shots. Because rebounding the three, you're rebounding at 30 feet from the basket. So there are all of our size and all of our strength is neutralized. And we did it to ourselves. We did it to ourselves. And that's not going to happen in the next game. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, question. Yep. Thank uh, you. Kelsey, first quarter you had 10 points. You kind of showed a spark for the team. What was it in that first quarter that really stood out to you and just helped build for the rest of the game? Um, my team is just really good at sending me, sending me up like coming off of screens and stuff like that. And um, Coach Meyer calling plays where I'll be able to get those shots. So, yeah. You guys have one more home game before you head to the road to Chicago. What are you trying to get out of this next week before you go on the road? 
I, I honestly just happened to catch a little bit of IUPUI against Southern Illinois last night when I was preparing for this game, and they're legit. They're legit, and they're very well coached. And I wasn't planning. I, I don't ever do that, but I, they just happened to be on the TV. Um, so that's it. That's the task at hand. I don't care what happens after that. You know, that's what we're, we're going to be on. Yeah. Right. Well, I, I kind of just want to talk about just the the support at the University of Miami and and the gratitude that I feel like um, every time I walk out on Kids Day, it, it was emotional seeing Gibbs, but it's emotional just to be like um, have an idea and 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 beg for support and try to get it executed and keep trying and keep trying. And then President Shalala was the first one who kind of rubber stamped it and said okay, and then. Um, Jen and Blake came into town and, and really have just pushed it to where it's it's a big event. It means a lot. Um, it's it's for women's basketball, but I think it shows the University of Miami. I think it shows our community that we want to be a part, uh, that we're immersed in, that we want to be a part of their lives, and we want them to adopt us as their hometown team. And um, it's just great to see my players in the stands. With the I, I stood out there for 10 extra minutes, just watched my kids climb into the stands and hitting the woe. Is that what you say? Yeah. Hitting the wall with the kids and uh, dancing around, and I kind of wanted to do it myself. Uh, it was really fun. All right. Thank you so much. Thank Congratulations you. Congratulations, and good luck.